Get ready and some coffee. But first, our joke intro. And if you happen to not like political jokes, you might want to skip this one right to the presentation. But here we go. Dude, that court case was a total sham. The legal system wielded like a weapon to attack a presidential political rival. Uh, tell me about this assailant. Because when they searched the room later, there was no sign of him. Well, the man was clearly a professional. Yeah, who would have thought we'd see this sad banana republic day in America? He'll produce a likeness based on your description. So tell us, what did this man look like? No! You don't understand. It's not political. It's not political! Um, well, he was big. Hair color? Um, orange. Orange? Hmm. I'm not, I'm not really political in, in any way. And curly. Well, frizzy, actually. Frizzy sort of thing. Frizzy. You think I'm kidding, but no, I'm serious. Are you sure about this English? <laughs> oh, yes. That's him. An uncanny resemblance. Well, it's just as if he's in the room with us. What? But aren't you the one who set the wheels in motion, stoked the corrupt legal flames, and who stands to politically benefit from jailing the second most likely person to remove you from office democratically? The first most likely being, of course, death. Death by self-imposed ice cream-induced brain freeze. How can he close me up? On what ground? I'm shocked, shocked to find that gambling is going on in here. Well, of course that's true, but... You're winning, sir. Oh, thank you very much. But honestly, all I, have, all I ever do is follow my conscience. The little Jiminy Cricket leading me to the, make the best morally correct decision possible every time. Now, now, Jack, is your conscience? I, oh, my word, it's the noble phoenix. She's a symbol of rebirth and the eternal... Oh, my Pretty boss flamethrower, right? I really have my work cut out for me on this one. Don't... Which sometimes just happens to benefit me politically. I had no idea. And I can... I can understand how that may look suspicious. Suspicious. Hmm. This looks suspicious. But I'm actually not benefiting from political corruption here. It's not what you think. But rather I'm just receiving like good karma, you know, like cosmic justice. The cosmos rewarding me for following my little, my little Jiminy Cricket conscience. Hey, it's called karma. That's what's really happening. Isn't karma where if you do something bad, bad things happen to you? <laughs> a common misconception. And, you know, it's actually, it's actually you. It's actually you who are the corrupt one trying to distort my beautiful cosmic justice rewards for my deeds into looking like it's actually some kind of ugly, self-empowering, dirty politics. You know, I'm starting to think you don't appreciate the value of a life. Ah. No. I mean, I love these guys. <laughs> Flex the glutes. I need a solid surface. There's good in all people. There's good in all people. Honestly, there's, you know, there's no excuse for your ignorance here. Not, not after we helpfully had Robert De Niro, known for playing a ruthless gangster with no respect for the law, out in front of the courthouse, you know? Just before the verdict, which we just happened to somehow know was coming up the next day to explain how the, the complex workings of the legal system are in fact intact, administering justice and only justice. All right, bring it over. Help! Sweet mother of ghosts, Jack! Well, you know what they say. Can't bake a pie without losing a dozen men. <laughs> oh. Look, it's nothing personal. It's nothing political. It's just business. I mean, it's just justice. It's not personal, Sonny. It's strictly business. Impossible to trace, so you don't worry about Prince Mike. Don't look nobody directly in the eye, but you don't look away either. The legal system is working perfectly. The Biden campaign just greased the wheels a little, you know, 
in the right places with the proper positive and sometimes unfortunately negative incentives. And the verdict? It just happens to work out in their favor. Another letter from that school goes to that kid's house. In the open, you're gonna go ahead first. You know, that's how the legal system is designed to work, people. Honestly, haven't you seen The Godfather? Senators and presidents don't have men killed. Who's being naive, Kay? So you, you see? Like, if you, if you can't even trust Robert De Niro, mafia movie man, explaining to you that the justice system is, a, is in good working order, defending justice, you're the one with the problem, okay? And given, given how the legal system works, it could be a fatal one. Oh, that was horrible. Your wish is horrible. You're horrible. You're an irredeemable monster! Oh, oh, what took you so long, idiot? <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I, I think this entire thing looks like a corrupt political third world banana republic sham. No, 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 I told you. It's just karma. And I'm just, benef I'm just benefiting from karma. Yeah. And, I, and I'd sure hate it if karma decided to whack that guy. I'm just saying, if, if karma happened to whack that guy, karma would probably reward the whacker. I'll do it, boss. Should I, should I whack him or just break his thumbs, boss? How come you didn't break this guy's thumb like I told you? Well, how do you know I didn't break it? You don't think I hear things? Did I give you a job this morning or I didn't? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So why didn't you break his thumb like I told you to? No, not, not you, karma. Having a dude actually named Karma doing the whacking that we plan to blame on, like, cosmic karma? That's just a little too on the nose, even for us. But I appreciate your passion there, Karma. But, I, but, but if you happen to know anyone else, Karma, someone that's not actually named Karma, you know, you ask him if he wants to do that thing for us. Freddy No Nose. And then there was Pete the Killer, who was Sally Balls' brother. And I'm sure Karma will reward him. Again, not you, Karma, but Cosmic Karma will give him a cash reward according to the contract drawn up on a cocktail napkin. We are a Federalist. You know, the mountain police. If you're the police, where are your badges? Badges? We ain't got no badges. We don't need no badges. I don't have to show you any stinking bashes. However, remember, the big guy, he gets 10% and the nice cream cone. Yeah. Uh, uh, honestly, Phil, I mean, it, it really looks like this judge is a little biased here, willing to look the other way on corruption in a fairly predictable pattern. Yeah, for some, for some strange reason, I, yeah, I just don't trust these guys. Large, can we trade? I don't trust these guys. Uh, you know, I'm telling you, Phil, the crap's about to hit the fan, Phil. How do you know? Yeah, how, how do I know the crap's about to hit the fan? Because I'm about to throw the crap at the fan, Phil. That's how I know. Because I'm about to throw the freaking crap at the freaking fan, man. I'm telling you. Not really, though, but seriously. I mean... Biden clearly is desperately wants to hold on to power as he's quickly going downhill. And you know how the old saying goes, Phil. When the going gets tough, the tough needs to get the going's creepy, power-hungry, corrupt old hands off him before the dude that's going throws the tough in jail. Or worse, the going using the massive built-up downhill momentum from his fall drags the tough and the country with him down into the ground. It's mine! Ha -ha! You, you looking for something? Consider this my resignation, mister! What did I do to deserve this? I mean, what specifically? 